about ALM, application lifecycle management. And let's see, first of all, a bit more about how you can enable the uh, app catalog at site collection level, which is an highly requested feature. So in order to do that, you will simply need to use uh, a bunch of PowerShell scripting. In fact, in the coming days, it will come out a refreshed version of the uh, CMD length uh, for PowerShell uh, to manage SharePoint Online. And so let's consider, for example, this website, which is in the SharePoint Online, of course. And let's go to PowerShell. You will simply need to use the management CMD lab for SharePoint Online. You will need to connect to a target site, uh, which can be at the site of your uh, uh, tenant. Well, technically, it has to be the site of the tenant exactly. in this case. And using the app SPO site collection app catalog CMD lab and targeting the URL of the site in which you want to enable the uh, local app catalog, what will happen under the cover? It will be that a middle feature will be enabled on your site. And your site will be listed in a white list, which will be a tenant-wide white list, so that your site collection will have its own app catalog. Let's try to do that. It will take just a few seconds. And if we go back to the Rome Winter 2017 site and we go to the site content, you will see that pretty soon it will pop up, as soon as the feature will be enabled, it will pop up an apps for SharePoint library which will be our local app catalog for our site collection. Of course, we can install here uh, our packages, whether there will be SharePoint add-ins uh, or SharePoint standard <coughs> solutions. And if you're wondering what will happen if you will have the same package both in the tenant-wide app catalog and in the uh, local site collection app catalog, by default, the closer one will win. So if you will have uh, a package shared in both of the app catalogs, the one closer, the one in the local site collection, will win on top of the other one in the tenant-wide. But so by default, you will see all the add-ins from a tenant-level app catalog and then also the add-ins within this local catalog. So or, or not just add-ins, but also SharePoint framework solutions. And moreover, of course, maybe later on you want to disable this capability. You want to remove the delegation to manage uh, packages at the local site collection. You can also use the remove SPO site collection app catalog CMD that. You will still need to provide the URL of your site collection and the feature uh, will be uh, uh, disabled. What will happen will be that your library will still be there in the site collection, but the site collection will not be anymore in the white list list uh, of your tenant, and so the uh, capability will not be available anymore at the site collection level. It's up to you, of course. Moreover, one more uh, killer feature, I think, really killer feature of the ALM APIs that we have uh, uh, is the one that allows us to do uh, automated deployment of packages, again, whether they are uh, SharePoint add-ins or SharePoint framework solutions. It is a highly, highly requested feature, which will allow us to do automated uh, deployment, automated testing, and for example, if we have to create uh, uh, thousands or hundreds of site collections and we want to deploy on all of them uh, specific packages, specific applications, we can do that uh, simply using the uh, uh, ALM APIs. The ALM APIs are provided as a bunch of REST APIs nowadays, but of course, you know, in PMP we love making your life easier, because it's our life too, because we are developers too. And that's why we created on top of the REST ALM APIs a bunch of PMP CMD Lab, which will allow you to do uh, the provisioning and the setup and the deployment of applications and solutions really, really easily. So, let's consider yet another set collection which will be this one, for example, <coughs> the Vienna Summer 2018. And let's have a look at the app catalog of the tenant-wide app catalog that we have in this demo. At the very end of this page, we already have, just for the sake of speeding up the solution, we have an SPFX Discuss Now client-side solution, which is a solution which I installed in my tenant using the PMP CMD Lab, which is the app PMP app CMD Lab and providing the full path of my package. This is a SharePoint framework package. Of and of course, course, you can install that manually as well. So. Of course, if you want, yes. Of course, in order to play with the PMP CMD Lab, you need, first of all, to connect to the target environment. That's what I'm doing with this first line of code. So I'm connecting to my target environment, and I will do that right now. Then I can simply use the get PMP app CMD Lab to get the full list of uh, packages and applications that I have in my app catalog, as you can see, and here I have, should be one of the last ones we discuss now, somewhere here, here it is, and this is the ID of my application. I can even get that one and just that one using the ID. 
so that I can have an object which will define the app that I have in my catalog. And using this app object, I can automate the publishing, if I want, at the app catalog level of my solution in order to make it available whenever I will go to the site <coughs> contents and I will add an app and I will be able to find in my organizational apps my new uh, application as available. But I can also, targeting the site collection, which I am, I can also install, directly install the application in the target site. To make it more clear what is happening, let me do something like that. I will put on the left side my PowerShell console and I will go to the site contents of my site. So, let me go here, site contents. And to make it even easier for you to see what is happening, let me switch to the classic view because, you know, in the classic view, you can see, you can better see what is happening when you are installing or removing or managing an application which is still a missing feature from the modern UI, I would say, but maybe it will come. Most of my things will come, yes. It's it makes sense that it will come. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I have my site content, classic view. Let me start the install PMP app CMD Lab, providing the app that I want to install in this site collection. It is now working. Let me refresh the site content page, and you will see here, right, in the uh, lower right side of the screen, that my application is pending installation. So right now, I'm installing the application on my set collection without the need to have an admin or someone who can who have to click the add an app in the UI of the set collection. So it is really useful because we can automate the process. And, and really to reinforce the message, so this one does the trust operation. It actually adds to adding to be available in a site, so it's fully instant on the site for to be have available for end users. Plus the fact that once again they use the PMP PowerShell, but because it's easy to demonstrate the capability of doing that. There is a REST API reinforcing the message and see some APIs to PMP extension, which you can use with use within your code as well. And let me say that pretty soon we will support this capability also from a PMP provisioning engine perspective. So we are in the process of adding this capability there as well. So you will be able to apply a provisioning template and install all of your packages included in the uh, template. Let me try to refresh the page because most likely my application will be ready. Let's see. Yes, it is. This is an application which simply provides a custom command set for all of the documents that I have in the document library. So, let me open my uh, web browser to the full page. Let me go back to the uh, modern experience to see how the uh, command set behaves. And we should be able to see, if I select a document, that we have a custom item, a custom command set which will provide us a custom functionality which will simply create a new meeting in the group uh, calendar of the Office of Spy Group backing our uh, SharePoint Online modern site. Of course, maybe later on we want to remove or we want to update the uh, solution. We can, do, we can still do that simply using the update PMP app or again the REST API or the CISOM API or maybe in the future, near future, the provisioning engine, you can simply update the package and then update the solution in your target set collection using the update PMP app. Moreover, you can remove, if you want, a customization. You can use the uninstall PMP app, providing the uh, reference to the ID or to the application object that you want to remove. Let me try that one as well. So let me uninstall the app in my set collection. Let me go back to the site contents of my set collection. And one more time, we switch to the classic view. And here you see, we are removing your application. So, isn't it cool? Automation. <laughs> and, again, and thank you, Paolo, for that one. Uh, awesome. Uh, great demo demonstrating the capabilities. Again, it's not really, oh my god, it's super sexy and wow. No. It's the fact that we want to actually make sure that we have that enterprise control. You have those APIs which are needed to be available so that you can automate this, uh, this, uh, this stuff uh, to be successful within your department. <coughs> so stuff which has been missing. No doubt we should have had an ALM API for add-ins already two years ago, and I do apologize on that, but better sooner than later. Uh, or some later than never. Uh, it's that. Uh, I'm Finglish, so let's uh, You'll get it. You'll probably understand what I'm going to say. Now, uh, anyway, super cool stuff, uh, especially for developers. If you are if you are more from 